Hello, and today in our PHP for Designer series, we'll be talking about the explode function. Now, this function is um, a PHP function, and it's awesome. Um, I've just got a little example of how to do it today. What we're going to do is use it to tear two values apart. So I'm just going to dive in and show you this real quick. I've got a simple PHP file up here, and it's just got a um, variable which is the entire date, which is grabbing the date, the date, the month, and the year, and it's it's echo, it's echoing out that variable. If you look at the results of that, we get we get the date. Now, what if you wanted to split? Um, what if you wanted to do? split the values now this is a bad example because you can split the values um right in the date function by just not say we're on to the day then we would would only incl include the d as a parameter so um this is kind of a bad example but what, what if we wanted this variable to just to contain all that data but to pull the bits out separately. What we need to do in PHP is use a really cool function called an explode function. So we've we've got the result of the date function in that variable that harnesses the result. What I'm going to do is get rid of the echo statement. And now we're gonna we're gonna write our explode function. So I'll just give you an example. What you can do is you can explode any any value that you put in a variable. Um, but I'm just using the date as an example. But you, you could put a handwritten string in and do it that way. But I'm just doing um, this is an example. What we need is, now that we've got a variable, we need a explode function, which you can just write in PHP. Um, and there's, there's two uh, strings that we need. Um, the, the one string is that what we're going to use as a separator. And because we've said that um, the... the um, these these little semicolons are going to be the s separator and I think then that's what we're going to use um we're gonna um what we're gonna do is you could have any any separator in there as well you could use a, a space as a separator and split every word of sentence or something like that we're just going to write the colon as a separator. Sorry, I need to, I need to write that again. Let's try and back up with this. Um, so I need the colon as our separator, and then we're going to end. What we're going to do is put a comma and tell it how many bits we want to split into i.e. How, how many bits of this this value we want to do so there's three bits of the value the date value the day value the month value and the year value but you have to know that as part of the thing so what this does is now extract each bit in an array Um, we also need to put that in a variable tell it what we wanted to um, do because you'll see in a minute because what it basically does is creates an array um, what I'm going to do is create an
Hej Jeppe. Alright. So what we basically done here is um told the um date function that we want to the explode function that we want to look at that variable which is um giving us the date and we want to give it and we want to put it in a value array. We want to be three items in that array and we want each of those three items to be split at the separator which is the kill so I need to actually add another item in this array which is in this in this function sorry which is the thing that we actually want to split so that should work so we, we've now got a full basically a full um what 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 this equal function does generate it is is that variable has now become an array and for each of the three bits in the array we can extract that from the array so in our case we've extracted it into three bits so if, if we wanted the first um, integer in this case um, but again it doesn't have to be an um, integer I could just say, for example, day, set that equal to um, what, whatever's in the f full array, which I've just been nicknaming a value of value of array, so basically the full result of the explode function. So basically the day variable equals the full result of the explode function but then to tell it what part we want this to equal we put square brackets in the name of the array so the, we split it into three parts and the date's the first part so if we want the date to come we want it to say 1 and we do the 7th of the month but if we, if we now go For a quick example, if I if I go a p element, go php. Echo day. We should only get the first re result of the XY function that's been put into that variable. Let's have a look at our code. We get we we get the first result. So if we have a look again at how oh, that's been working, we've we put the entire entire day in a function and all this is and all this is doing is giving it something for the um explode function to split um again we could just say we, we could we could just give it a d and then that would only give us the day day but so this isn't a very good example but I'm just trying to give you an example we're creating a value that an, an array that basically uses the explode function takes that takes that value of the entire date and splits it into three parts then we're using then we're using the day variable to say um take out the 
first part of that full value, which full value was the result of this date function, the first value will be the day, and that's what we had. So that was a quick example of the explode function. Thanks for watching.